Welcome back to KP's Kingdom, cooking with KP. And today, I'm going to show you the best New Year's Day hangover cure ever. All right, let's get on with it. Very simple recipe this. I've got some uh, English muffins. I'm just going to toast these up on the barbecue, just like I'm doing there. Really simple. And this is a, uh, a really great way to toast up some muffins. Just put them on the barbecue, leave them for about three minutes or so on a medium heat. To get a nice toasty surface to them all right so here i've got some hash browns they're just frozen hash browns you buy from the supermarket we're going to put these on the barbecue they're going to take about four minutes per side i'm just going to cook those down nice and simply like that now here i've got some cabanossi now you should have some cabanossi left over from your new year's party from the night before i'm just going to slice that up put that on the hot plate like that straight on the barbecue you can even use a frying pan if you want I'm just going to keep tossing that around until they're just nicely cooked up. Really nice and simple recipe of this one. Right, we're going to flip our hash browns. It's going to be around about the uh, two to three minute mark. We've already started to defrost. We just want to get that nice toasty surface to them once again. Our cabanossi is cooked through just enough. We'll take that off the heat and put that aside as well. Okay, our hash browns, we're going to give them another quick flip. We just want a little bit more color on those. Mm, how good does this look? And if you haven't had something like this for breakfast the next day after a big night out, well, you don't know what you're missing, do you? But our hash browns are cooked. They can go off to the side. Now, I've got a couple of uh, bits of leftover prosciutto, or prosciutto, and I've just made those into little cigars. Just roll them up and we're going to give these a very light toast as well. All right, they're not going to take very long at all, around about a minute. Make sure you turn them once or twice. We don't want them cooked too much. We just want a little bit of heat to those. Right, we're going to remove those from the heat like that. Mm. Now, a little bit more oil goes onto our hot plate and we're going to put in a couple of eggs straight down on our hot plate like that. Now, be very careful. As I've mentioned before, my barbecue is not level, so eggs tend to run away or liquids tend to run away. That's okay, just get your little barbecue spatula or scraper and just push them towards the center very nice and carefully like I'm doing there. And these won't take very long to cook at all. I'm gonna put a little cover on that. I'm gonna leave those for around about a minute, maybe a minute and a half, or cooked until you like your eggs cooked. All right, if you want them really uh, firm, do so. If you want them runny, cook them like that as well. All right, the eggs can go off to the side. I'm going to do a, uh, another couple of eggs. I'm making a couple of plates for this uh, particular recipe. All right, we're just about done. Eggs are all cooked. They can come off like I'm doing there. Be nice and careful with those. We don't want to break those beautiful yolks. Now let's plate up. Now, I'm going to put down our English muffins. Like that our hash browns and don't forget to bump the camera on the way through now i'm going to put an egg on each muffin look at that how beautiful is that look all right there goes our eggs now a little bit of cupy mayonnaise for our hash browns and i'm just going to put our cabanossi on top of our hash browns like that they're going to work really nice together as far as the flavor is concerned all right now all I'm using is leftover product from uh, my New Year's party. So I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, coleslaw down. Yum, like that. Our little bits of prosciutto, that can sit down on top of our uh, coleslaw. No problem with that at all. All right, now, I've got some leftover gherkin, which I've uh, cut up really nice and fine, like sh almost shredded. That can go down, eggs and uh, gherkin or pickles it goes down beautifully together a little bit of uh, avocado I'm gonna put that down as well and basically after years of experience I've worked out that this is one of our best hangover cures ever season to taste if you want salt or pepper add that anyway hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching it happy new year to you if you're watching this on New Year's morning if you like this video hit that like button gives me confidence should make you feel warm and fuzzy too don't forget to hit that notifications bell you'll be notified every time a new video goes up don't forget to share this video with all your friends on all platforms of social media but more importantly 
I want you to come and join the family, my family. Hit that subscribe button and you'll never miss another one of my videos again. I will catch you next time.